Hello and welcome to the channel once again. I am Dr. O'Neill Obey, a pharmacist by profession, and I'm glad to have you watching this video. In a previous video, I talked about the role of the pharmacist on or in a hospital ward. In this video, I want to share with you as a practicing pharmacist in the hospital, which other roles do I play or which other roles are you expected to play if you are practicing in the hospital? So that's what I'm going to share with you in this video. Stay tuned. <laughs> Right, there are a number of other roles that we play in the hospital aside our ward work. So most of you didn't or weren't aware of the work of the pharmacist on the ward. So if you are part of them and you are still not aware, do want to check out the previous video. I'll put a link around here somewhere where you can quickly check that video out so that you get to inform yourself or you become well informed about the rules or what exactly pharmacists do on the ward. But in this video, we are focusing on all the other things that we do in the hospital aside our ward work. The number one of them is as I practice in a teaching hospital is to offer training to others. So we offer training to pharmacy students, pharmacy technician students, and a number of people reading anything related to pharmacy who come to the hospitals for their training. So if you are practicing as a pharmacist in a hospital like this or any other hospital that receives trainees, then you are going to also contribute your quota to the training. And we do a lot of things, especially in Tamale Teaching Hospital. There are a number of presentations where you have to sit in and help guide the students or the trainees as to how they should go about it, their case presentation. So these trainees will always follow up on patient cases, individual patient cases, and they'll come and present it so that we will discuss these ones. All right, so training is a very big one when it comes to our duties outside the world. Secondly, the Another duty that we play and which is so dominant or almost everywhere you find yourself you are going to come across is answering to queries about medicines. As a pharmacist, that is one thing you can't run away from. Almost every time, every now and then, when your phone rings, it's likely someone is calling to ask a question. And even inside the hospital, when you meet anyone who is aware that you are a pharmacist, it's likely they are going to be asking you about certain information about medicines. So answering to various queries about medications is one of the key things that we do, especially when you are in the dispensary and people can easily walk to the dispensary to ask you the questions. For instance, those of us who spend most of our time on the ward, you have patients and the other healthcare professionals who are on the ward coming to you to ask for questions about various medicines. So it is equally one of the very important roles that we play in the hospital. For the hospital that I work in, the hospital has established what we refer to as the Drug Information Center. And if there are any queries concerning medicines, you can easily go there, refer to, uh, like you can get answers to those questions from the DIC or you can talk to any pharmacist actually. So as a pharmacist, you can also be employed to work in the DIC where you'll be taking patients, queries and other health care professionals, they answer their queries for them about medicines, the side effects and everything in that regard. The next important thing that we do in the hospital aside the ward work is dispensing. And when you talk about dispensing, that is what almost everybody thinks that pharmacy is about. So on that note, let me just inform you that pharmacy is not all about dispensary. Maybe that is what it used to be, but now it has evolved and is no longer all about dispensing. So I spent quite a less time or I don't spend more time doing dispensing. It's just when I'm done with my ward work, I have to come to the dispensary and help out when need be. So dispensary is one of the things that we do. And basically when we say dispensing, it just means dishing out the medicines to 
your clients but as a doctor of pharmacy obviously you are well knowledgeable to do the right thing when it comes to dispensing so you don't just give out the medicines you have to counsel your patient you have to make sure they understand everything that you explain to them and make sure that when they go they are going to be able to take it just as you have told them to take it and even during the dispensing this one will tie into the next thing that i was going to talk about and which is a question that a lot of people keep asking the role of the pharmacist in the consulting room hmm? you also have a similar question all right so let me continue the role of the pharmacist in the consulting room in fact i don't work in the consulting room i'm a pharmacist i i don't have a role in the consulting room as you may also be wondering but when i'm dispensing or when i'm practicing in a hospital setting and patients walk to me especially when they have gone to see the doctor in the consulting room and they've come to the dispensary i have every right to go to the doctor in the consulting room to discuss further anything that i have a concern about okay so this is how it works even though i don't sit directly with the doctor in the consulting room at any point in time i can walk to the doctor and discuss for instance if i feel that or based on my interactions with the patient i know that a particular drug that was selected is not going to be helpful or there needs to be a changes to the dose based on an information i've gleaned from the patient or based on a concern that i have or any other uh, reason i can quickly walk to the doctor discuss with him then we all come to a consensus on what to give to our patient so dispensing and my role in the consulting room as i've explained not directly but indirectly i play a key role because every medicine that a patient takes out of the hospital comes through me as a pharmacist if you are working in a dispensary you are going to get to see almost every patient and their medication and if you are not vigilant and there are any mistakes it means that you are contributing hugely to the mistake that because if somebody makes a mistake they will definitely bring the medicine to your doorstep as the pharmacist who is dispensing so you have to be able to pick it up sometimes there's too much pressure on the prescriber and they may end up making a mistake or whatsoever thing that you need to correct so when it comes to you you have to be vigilant enough to see and make recommendations when necessary go to the doctor talk to them and let them make the necessary corrections and because of this particular rule patient gets to like us as practitioners okay this is not the take one morning take one evening kind of pharmacist where you just sit in the dispensary and all you tell your patient is how the doctors have written it and that is why a lot of people felt that pharmacy isn't difficult and anybody at all can replace the work of a pharmacist all i need to know the name of the medicine how to take it the doctor has written it let me just look okay this one the doctor said take one morning one evening i told them no it goes way beyond it anytime i'm going to give a patient a medicine i have to make sure that this medicine what are the potential side effects what are the contraindications or are there any reasons why this particular patient who is standing in front of me cannot take this medicine okay so at that point in time when i'm about to dispense a medicine i have all these knowledge that i have to put into practice okay so all the things i've learned about a particular medicine that's being given out to a patient and have to be able to counsel the patients to this medicine you are supposed to take it so so and so and so maybe you take this medicine like 30 minutes before you eat and a patient will be wondering why so so you have to be able to explain all of these to the patient so basically these are some of the roles or the other roles that we play in the hospital aside our work on the world as doctor of pharmacy a quick recap of the things that we do i talk about training our role in the consulting room i've talked about dispensing i've talked about answering to queries as well the last thing that i forgot to talk about is requisition of drugs so as a pharmacist manning a dispensing or working in a dispensary as well you have to make sure that any point in time whatever medicine that is supposed to be available is actually available 
So that when a patient comes, you get it for them. So we have a, a, a medical stores or a pharmacy stores where the medications are kept or they are stored. So you working in the dispensary, I mentioned in a previous video that I work in internal medicine in Tamale Teaching Hospital. So for internal medicine department, we have our dispensary and our dispensary is stocked with medication. So you, the pharmacist in there, you are supposed to be in charge of requisition of the medications, meaning for any medicine that is running out of stock, you have to request for some. So every time, every day when you come, you have to do kind of stock taking, look at the stock level, as it up to number, will this be able to serve the number of patients that we are going to serve in this week? So do I need to request for more? Go and get it. Yeah. You don't have this, this medicine is finished, right? Okay, now it is, these medicines have been prescribed more often, so we don't have it in the form. So let me request so that they will get it for us. So that's also another role that we play in the hospital. Thank you for watching to the end of this video. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give the video a thumbs up and if you are yet to subscribe to this channel. In fact, you want to know more about pharmacy and the practice of pharmacy in every field, not subscribe to this channel. I don't know what you are waiting for. So hit the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon so that anytime that I release a new video, you'll be duly notified. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. I am so glad that you did and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.